ADT is our active decompression technology. In this technology, what we do is we minimize the work that the cylinder is doing during engine starting and engine stopping. Um, and what that does is we, we basically decompress the cylinder so that no cylinder pressure is formed uh, at low engine speeds. Jacobs got started with ADT when our customers came to us with a problem. The problem was that when they turned the engine off, there was a lot of NVH, a lot of shaking of the cab. And this was primarily an issue for sleeper cabs where the engine would start and stop automatically for HVAC and battery maintenance. And the vibration from the truck would actually you know, shake awake the driver. So the drivers are required to sleep overnight and the cab would shake. So one solution we came up with was to decompress the engine and we basically use our engine braking technology to hold the valve open, to depressurize the cylinder, and the engine just winds down without any compression. This gives a very smooth engine stop and it doesn't wake the drivers up. One of the key markets we see for our ADT technology is really integrating with the start-stop systems. Passenger cars have for years been adopting systems for fuel savings where the engine will turn off at a stoplight uh, or a period of idle. For heavy-duty trucks, obviously there's anti-idling regulations, so we want to turn the engine off as frequently as we can. But the engines, uh, large engines with high compression, there's a lot of vibration, and it makes these start-stop systems both objectionable to the driver and also very hard on the starting systems. Uh, starting a, a 15 liter diesel engine uh, it takes a lot of energy and it also uh, it causes a lot of wear and tear on the starter components. One benefit from ADT on the startup side is we decompress the engine so we get the engine spinning and then once the engine is, is starting to spin then engage the compression when the starter is already up to speed. So it alleviates a lot of the load on the starter and the ring gear. And during the shutdown, we eliminate the vibration, but the engine also stops in a random position. So instead of the starter engaging with the ring gear in typically three positions, it's a randomized position. So you get a distribution of wear and you get better starter life, as well as lower cranking energy to start the engine. So we see ADT as a great technology paired with start-stop, not just uh, for normal shutdown, but also for these automatic start and stops that kind of have trouble with market acceptance. One of the benefits of ADT is really in the cold start. So a heavy duty diesel engine with high compression, if you go to start it and the batteries are low, you really hear very slow cranking, typically the engine almost stopping at each compression TDC. With the ADT technology, the engine spins freely, gets up to speed, and then you can begin the compression. So you can start with a weaker battery or you just use less energy when you start the engine. Another benefit of the, the active decompression is that you can prolong that decompressed state. So engines that don't have fuel pressure for injection, we can decompress the engine and spin at a higher RPM until you're ready to inject the fuel. When the fuel system's ready, then you turn on the compression and then you can start the engine. We also can use ADT with grid heater systems. So you can run electric grid, grid heater, you can heat the inlet air, and then you crank the engine in a decompressed state, which gives you reduce cranking torque, reduce power consumption, and also reduces the flow, the mass flow through the cylinder. So you get a reduced airflow, you get a higher temperature, and improved startup. 